President Reagan has got his big package of tax increases through Congress. Within the last half hour, the House of Representatives gave the final approval to the bill which will bring in $100,000 million in extra taxes. President Reagan was opposed by many in his, in his own party, but he won the vote more easily than expected with a majority of 19. It appears almost certain that the evacuation of Palestinian guerrillas from Beirut will begin at the weekend. The Israeli government approved the American peace plan today, though they said an Israeli soldier captured by the PLO must be returned first. French and American troops are already on their way to take part in the multinational force which will oversee the Palestinian withdrawal, and an Italian contingent will join them shortly. At home, steel union leaders say they expect British Steel to announce up to 2,500 more redundancies tomorrow. The redundancies are expected to hit steelworks in Sheffield and Cambuslang in Scotland, and the unions have threatened industrial action. In the last five years, British Steel has cut its workforce by more than 100,000. Malcolm MacArthur, the man whose arrest led to the resignation of the Irish Attorney General, was attacked by an angry crowd outside a Dublin court today. MacArthur was remanded in custody on two charges of murder, but as he left the court, he was punched and beaten. A 15-year-old schoolboy has appeared in court at Ripon in North Yorkshire, accused of murdering nine-year-old David Milner. He was remanded in care until next week. David's body was discovered near his home last Sunday. Soccer and Kevin Keegan tonight signed for Newcastle United for a fee of around £100,000. He said he needed a new challenge. But Tottenham's Argentine star, Ricky Villa, has ended speculation that he's going home to play for River Plate. He definitely will be staying at Spurs this season. And finally, a car chase through country roads in Hampshire and Surrey ended with police detaining five people for questioning. The youngest was eight and the oldest just 13. That's it for me for now. I'll be back with Moira Stewart tomorrow lunchtime at one o'clock with News Afternoon. So from me, good night. <laughs>